Welcome to another episode of Nimsoli Explains with me. Uh, today, we're going to get back into Dungeon Alchemist, and we're going to see how to use it to create a map in uh, Fantasy Grounds. Uh, but first, uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. I, I would love to be able to show more and more people how we uh, can use online tools to play Dungeons and Dragons with our friends, whether in po person or online. That's that's my goal here. And we've got 68 subscribers. I would like to see it grow even more and more. Uh, I've updated my studio so it's, uh, you can see my gaming stuff a little bit more. Uh, but let's get into uh, Dungeon Alchemist. Today, I'm going to take you through another program that you can import a Dungeon Alchemist map into, Fantasy Grounds. Uh, first, we have to get it out of here. So uh, first, we're going to go over here to File, and then Export. I've already created a map uh, since we've done that in a previous episode. I'll link to it somewhere up here. Um, so I didn't want to do that again, but they have a nifty, uh, pack. I guess it's holiday themes. It comes with, uh, gifts and presents and it's a gingerbread house. So kind of neat, kind of cool. We're going to export that map and we're going to choose fantasy ground utility export, unity export, sorry, not utility unity. And then we will render lights and image and export to VTT. That's the default. You can only render lights if you in the image or you can only export lights to VTT. So we're gonna do both. High quality, uh, or you could do very high quality. Depends on your preference, how much storage space you have, bandwidth limitations, that sort of thing. And then the grid, uh, what color you want the grid, and then hit export. Takes me to my defa uh, default map savings place. We're going to call it Gingerbread House, and hit save. Now, map export is completed, and we have the Gingerbread House right here along with an XML file. We'll need both of those. All right, so I'm going to call up Fantasy Grounds. We now have our map. We're now in Fantasy Grounds. So let's click on Assets, and then we're going to click on Folder. And now in this folder, we're gonna go up here to Gingerbread House. Uh, which is where we saved it previously, and drag it down. Now we're going to hit refresh here, and you will see that it's in the campaign folder. Uh, all assets you add in this way show up in the campaign folder, and you can preview the record here, but in order to use it, you have to add it to your campaign. So just drag it over here to images and let go, now you'll see it in Gingerbread House right here. And you open it up, and now it's ready to use in Fantasy Grounds. The only thing I would probably do is go over here to Lighting. I think it's actually, let's see here. Add Light, no, Play, Gingerbread House, Use Lights. Sorry, I'm not as familiar with it as I should be. Uh, presets, spell darkness, uh, lighting, ambient lighting, sunlight. That's what we want. Set it to sunlight there, and you have a daylight, or you can have it at night, dusk, or moonlight uh, so that your players can see it. Well, there you go. We've now added a map into Fantasy Rounds. Hope that that's something that you can use in your next game. 
Until then, happy gaming.